The Science of Human Behavior In this video, we will be exploring the latest research in psychology and neuroscience to uncover the underlying reasons why people behave the way they do. From our earliest interactions with the world around us to our most complex social interactions, our behavior is shaped by a multitude of factors, many of which we are not even aware of. By understanding these factors, we can gain insight into our own behavior and the behavior of others, which can lead to more effective communication, better relationships, and a deeper understanding of ourselves and our world. Part 1. The Foundations of Human Behavior In this section, we will discuss the foundations of human behavior. Human behavior is a fascinating topic that has puzzled scientists and psychologists for centuries. In this video, we will explore the basic building blocks that contribute to our actions and the factors that influence them. 1. Genetics One aspect of human behavior is genetics. Our genes play a significant role in determining our physical and mental characteristics. Our DNA affects our personality traits, intelligence, and susceptibility to diseases. Twin studies have revealed that genetics can account for up to 50% of our personality traits. Therefore, understanding our genetics is essential in understanding our behavior. Two Environment Another aspect of human behavior is the environment. Our surroundings and experiences shape our behavior. Childhood experiences, family dynamics, and social networks all influence our behavior. For instance, children growing up in abusive households may be more prone to aggressive behavior. Similarly, social networks that support healthy lifestyles can help individuals adopt healthy behaviors such as exercise and healthy eating. 3. Culture Another aspect of human behavior is culture. Culture refers to the shared beliefs, values, customs, behaviors, and artifacts that characterize a group or society. Cultural norms and values can influence our behavior in significant ways. For example, cultures that emphasize individualism may foster independent behavior, while collectivist cultures may promote more interdependent behavior. 4. Biology Another aspect of human behavior is biology. Our biology can affect our behavior in various ways. Hormonal imbalances, brain injuries, and diseases such as Alzheimer's can significantly affect behavior. Additionally, certain chemicals in our brain, such as neurotransmitters, play a crucial role in regulating our mood, emotions, and behavior. 5. Learning Another aspect of human behavior is learning. Learning is the process by which we acquire new knowledge, skills, and attitudes. It is through learning that we develop our behaviors and attitudes towards different situations. Different types of learning, such as classical and operant conditioning, 
influence our behavior in significant ways. 6. Emotions Another aspect of human behavior is emotions. Emotions are complex responses to stimuli that affect our behavior. Our emotional state can influence our actions and decisions. For example, fear can lead to avoidance behavior, while happiness can promote positive behavior. Conclusion Foundations of Human Behavior In summary, human behavior is a complex phenomenon that is influenced by various factors. Our genetics, environment, culture, biology, learning, and emotions all contribute to our behavior. Understanding these foundations can help us make sense of why we behave in certain ways and develop strategies to modify our behavior. Jean Piaget's Theory of Cognitive Development To help understand human behavior, we can explore the foundations of human psychology. One of the most influential theories of human development is Jean Piaget's Theory of Cognitive Development. According to Piaget, Children go through four stages of cognitive development, each characterized by distinct ways of thinking and understanding the world. These stages are 1. Sensorimotor stage. The first stage of Piaget's theory is the sensorimotor stage, which occurs from birth to around two years old. In this stage, infants develop their senses and motor skills, and they learn about the world through exploration and manipulation. Infants in this stage do not yet have a sense of object permanence, meaning they do not understand that objects continue to exist even when they are out of sight. 2. Preoperational stage the second stage of Piaget's theory is the preoperational stage, which occurs from around two to seven years old. In this stage, children develop symbolic thinking and language skills, but they still struggle with logical thinking. They have difficulty understanding conservation, which means that they do not understand that the amount of a substance remains the same even when the appearance changes. 3. Concrete operational stage. The third stage of Piaget's theory is the concrete operational stage, which occurs from around 7 to 11 years old. In this stage, children develop logical thinking skills and understand the concept of conservation. They can think logically about concrete objects and events but still struggle with abstract thinking. 4. Formal Operational Stage the fourth and final stage of Piaget's theory is the formal operational stage, which occurs from around 11 years old and up. In this stage, individuals develop abstract thinking skills and can think logically about hypothetical situations. They can also understand multiple perspectives and engage in scientific reasoning. Summary Jean Piaget's Theory of Cognitive Development To summarize, Piaget's Theory of Cognitive Development provides a framework for understanding how our thinking and understanding of the world changes over time, which in turn affects our behavior. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel to keep updated with new videos.